Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we do fun Sims 4 related things on this channel all the time. Today we are gonna be doing a really fun one. This is the connect the dots challenge in The Sims 4. The rules here are simple. It kind of acts like a shell challenge in the way that I can't move any of these walls. So these were not placed by me. I have a hashtag on the gallery in The Sims 4 where you can do hashtag try me Sid and upload a whole bunch of build challenges. You can try other people's build challenges here. There's shell challenges and other like really fun ones in here. This was a hashtag I created like a year ago and I love coming back here from time to time to check them out. So if you do upload any bell challenges onto the gallery, make sure you use hashtag try me Sid and you will potentially see your build challenge here on this channel. So I came across this one here. This was created by Welsh Angel. I've done a few of these here on my channel, but we're gonna give this one a go today. So before I do anything, I do have like a strategy here that's gonna help us out. I'm gonna go in and use this paint and cover all of these these walls with it so that I don't accidentally delete any of these in the future. So once all of our walls are placed with the paint there, I'm gonna go in with my wall tool now and I'm gonna use this custom room tool down below. By the way, I don't have the curved walls yet. I am dying for them. This Sims 4 is coming out with curved walls very shortly, but I don't have access yet. Frig, I can't wait for it though. So basically the rules of this challenge after you've got the paint on there is you just kind of connect and make rooms from these like walls that are already present. Again, not being able to to delete any of them. So you're basically just working with the shape that you have. Some of these could end up being indoor walls as well. Like we don't delete the inside ones at all. And then you basically keep going and connecting them until you've got some kind of shape that you can work with. So I'm just gonna be connecting these ones around the back. And this is really fun because you don't have to follow the pattern that I'm doing. I could, for example, right here, like go in like this and come out as long as I'm touching those walls and they're incorporated into the build in some way without deleting them. Then Essentially, that's what this challenge is all about. So I'm gonna finish this part off on the first floor there. So I've got my bottom floor connected. And then on the top floor, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but leaving some of these for the inside. And obviously at this point, we don't know what it's gonna look like yet. So basically just following along. And then I get to this part here, which is a little bit weird because my top floor is like sticking out further than the bottom floor. So I'm gonna have to do some kind of like overhang or patio or balcony there, but I'm just gonna connect this forward. I'm gonna turn my grid on using G on my keyboard and I'm just gonna maybe like bring it like that. I don't know what this could be. Maybe I'll just go like that and like delete this in here. And for now, this is sort of what my shell is looking like. Now I can adjust because I can see where those lines are that I'm not supposed to delete. But for the most part, this is what I'm gonna roll with to start. So let's start to roof it. Let's see if we can do anything with this. I'm gonna go in and not adjust any of my angles or anything. I'm just gonna be like pulling them across, playing around and seeing if what we've got works. I don't Think we're gonna have any issues here. I'm gonna be bringing this one to the front too. Maybe we can do a bigger one to like connect those. I'm kind of feeling very like summery lately. I recently did a big summertime family home on my channel. So I'm kind of wondering if we should roll with that, but a different kind. Maybe we could end up doing like a cottage or something really cozy or even like a mountain or like riverside home or something could work. I've got this like super awkward diagonal part here. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. So I just keep adding more like roof pieces. Like this one here, I'm gonna have to hit it with a diagonal maybe. Let's see if I can just kind of hide this piece here and pull that in. And then maybe if we have that diagonal piece coming across, I could like fence this off and put some columns there holding it up. Maybe some like corblers to section off that weird like diagonal bit there. Yeah, see I'm thinking if we use these and go with like a craftsman style, maybe like Riverside Mountain Home, that might be the look we're gonna go for today. Okay, so, so far we've got our roofing figured out for the most part. I'm gonna raise this up on a foundation. I think I'm gonna go pretty high up with it because if I'm gonna go for that mountain home look, I think it would look nice to have like rocks around the bottom. I'm gonna have to relocate this build. We're gonna end up going to like Granite Falls or Windenburg or it could even fit in one of the newer worlds like maybe Henford on Bagley or something. Let's do a dark brown for my foundation. I think I'm gonna do a dark brown roof trim up top too. So maybe just with like this here, I do still have that diagonal piece that I'm gonna have to figure out. I might be able to hide that with like a chimney or some plants maybe. Let's do a brown roof paint. I'm scared to put wallpaper on here yet because of my walls, but I'm just gonna treat this now like a regular shell challenge, which means there will be no touching of the walls. Now everything that is staying here, at least for the exterior, we cannot move. Basically just because I don't know where those little like dot portions of it will be. I'm also kind of thinking, what if we did something more colorful along the bottom? I think I'm gonna stick to a pretty neutral build today. I 
think like the inside could look really pretty if we just went with like a cozy neutral, but maybe that could work with the only pop of color we have for the outside. Not my game about to crash. I didn't even do anything. We're gonna have to control alt delete, aren't we besties? Make sure you save, okay? <laughs> Luckily I did, but here's your daily reminder to make sure you remember to save your games. I'm gonna take this time to remind you that I do have a vlog channel and I just recently posted a wow. brand new vlog, so check it out after this video comes back. There we go, we're back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some roofing details and I wanna start to build out maybe my front porch. Then we're gonna have to figure out a solution for my floating like top floor there. So we're gonna go in first with this. I'm gonna connect it to maybe like there, that'll be a good little porch. And I'm thinking like a rustic style would be really nice today. So I think I'm gonna do some jungle adventure flooring. I like that wood on there. I think I'm gonna bring that up into some of the balconies too. And then for this part here, what I'm thinking we could do is go in with like a stone pillar or something, maybe even something like this. And I want to connect it to the corners there. And I think it would look really nice if we went in and played with the terrain there and made a little pond. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna shrink my terrain tool and just go along like the side here. I don't think it's gonna be anything too crazy. I might just like bring it like that. And now we can fill this up with water and the pillars will be like staying in there. So I think that'll look a little bit better than it just like being held up on the ground. Let's move this house back a little bit because I want to start going in and adding our rocks. I'm going to get my stairs going up right here and then we're going to go in and open up debug. We're going to do bb.show live edit objects. I think I'm going to have to turn back on move objects since my game crashed and bb.show hidden objects just to open up the whole thing. And I'm basically going to scroll until I can find those big rocks. These ones here. I might do a combination of base game and any of the rocks that have this shade here. Like some of them are dark. I'm gonna be going for that kind of color. And I'm hoping that once we move with this, this is gonna end up having like that mountainy, like cottage kind of effect. Then in the back here, I still have this awkward little spot. So I'm gonna use just like a half cabled roof piece, bring it in. And this is where we're gonna have like our back deck leading out. We can do a fence, just like a small stairway leading out here. I've got my stairs. I'm gonna get some terrain paint just to like mark the spots that I want back here. Maybe we can do a little fire pit back there. I'm gonna add big pine trees trees, like these ones, big tall trees. And then I think I'm gonna continue my rock adventure like all the way back around here. So I've gotten a good start on my landscaping. I've got all the rocks around and I think it looks pretty cool with like the river in there. I think next I'm gonna find my windows and doors. So I've been going through this like cats and dogs phase. Every so often I just get hit with this like obsession over a different pack. This time, this month, it's cats and dogs. So we're gonna be going in with one of these. I tried to make this more more like centered here because I have that like awkward bump out there that I can't delete. I'm gonna try and work with it the best that I can here. I might put like a tree in there, like a small tree that I can shrink down and just put in like a pot. Like that could work there. And then up top, I need a smaller door to use, which I could use seasons. I feel like seasons would match the vibe that I'm going with. The snowy escape doors could also work in that like dark brown shade. Then we could also go in with some snowy escape windows. I really do like that dark brown shade with this. And I think I'm gonna change the top room roofing wallpaper to this two-door style from Get Together. I love how this looks. I've been doing this a lot lately, especially in like the Bloomcrest build series that we've been doing. We'll get some chimneys up here. I think I'm gonna do two different types. Like we'll do that one and then this one here from Get Together. And then also for a different kind of roofing detail, I was thinking about going in and adding these. I'm gonna have to find a proper shade for it, but I think that could also match the like look that I'm going for up top with the roofing details. I still have a little bit of work to do on my landscaping, but I I think I wanna add like a seating area right here and the packs that we can use for this today that are gonna work really well will be like The Sims 4 Seasons, Werewolves will look really good, the Outdoor Little Campers Kit, Outdoor Retreat. So I think I'm gonna use a couch set here from Seasons. We'll get some werewolves in here with that like rugged style. We can lighten it up with a few plants here. I like that barrel one from Dine Out. I've been using that one a lot lately too. And actually the color scheme of this here is gonna match my house perfectly. So I think I think upstairs I'll probably add like another door around here or something, but I could do a seating area and then I can get those matching chairs from the industrial loft kit in this blue shade that matches the side of my house. And then we'll end up with some really cozy spaces outside. Okay, so I moved, I added all of the details onto the exterior and this is what it's looking like here. I think this looks so cute and cozy, especially with that background. I moved us into Granite Falls. So we're in that like camping area. This could be like a real bougie cottage, but I think I'm going for more of like a residential 
thing. But anyway, this is how it turned out. We've got our balconies up top. We've got a whole bunch of like seating areas in this build. I feel like it just fits right in with this world. And then in the back, the original lot that I was building on was a little bit smaller than this one. So I ended up with a little extra space. So I've just been filling in, like adding more trees, adding some extra grass. This could be like a play area, buildable area for like, if you download this, I could see like a cute camping in the backyard scenario. You could add like tents back here or something. But all I did back here is I added a fire pit. I've got a picnic table with a little picnic basket. And of course, a barbecue right on the water. Your Sims can go fishing back there. And I think this is a perfect location for this little build. Let's go inside. We need to still figure out the layout here. Okay, so the challenge isn't over yet. We still have to figure out how to make this inside work. And it's the same kind of concept as the outside where I have to like connect all of these to make rooms. Nothing can be deleted. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of start to make some rooms that make sense. Like I have my front door here. So it makes sense that you could walk in and have a hallway moment right here. We could maybe bring this back a little bit and this could be the end of the hallway there. We can open it up with archways, but I think I might also bring this back a little bit and leave that like singular wall there as like a closet space or something. When you first walk in and maybe we can have like an end table in there or like some hanging clothes, I don't know. Then I feel like the next obvious decision would be to section that off there. Here we can section that off. That could maybe be like a big bathroom or something right there. I'm hoping that my stairs can go in the middle here. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm picturing like my stairs right here, which works out perfectly. Thank God. Then I think I can probably section this room in there. It might be a little bit closed concept at first, but I can always go in and fix that with archways and stuff. And I'm thinking that generally this is going to be the base for my downstairs. Now we can go upstairs and this might be a little bit harder because I have that awkward corner right there. I mean, I could connect that, connect this this way, maybe bring that to here and have like a big bedroom in the back. We could do also a bedroom here, maybe like a little smaller one. I'm going to need a bathroom somewhere and I really don't want to have to connect it right in the middle, but I could put a bathroom right there. Then we have one more bedroom right here and maybe that could be it. I don't mind leaving like one singular wall there. I could put like pictures on it or use it as a shelf or something. So I think generally this is going to be my layout to start. We can always go in and change it. I'm going to start to add my lighting and we're definitely going to go in and add those archways right off the bat. So I'm going to use these ones from Cats and Dogs. Keep with that like dark brown color. And I think I might open up pretty much everything other than the bathroom. So we can use a smaller like slimmer one here near the stairs. I think this could be like a really cute reading room like right when you walk in. And then I can use seasons for the other doors here. So that dark brown and then upstairs. We'll probably just bring these doors all the way through here. And then like I said, I want to go really neutral and cozy with our color scheme. So I think I might use cats and dogs. I'm going to bring this through pretty much everywhere for now. And then later on when we do the bathrooms, we could change it. And for the wallpaper now, I'm going to go in and use these like neutrals here. Basic darks from base game. I also want to bring in some stone and I feel like it would look really nice on those like weird bump out wall pieces. I've been loving vampires lately. So I'm going to use some vampires brick, maybe in this shade here. So I've done all my flooring and wallpaper. I'm obsessed with this like color scheme here. I think it's going to be so soft and pretty neutral, cozy. I've also downloaded a whole bunch of art from Catatron 16 on the gallery and I've been playing around with it. I'm going for this again, like rustic countryside, like cottagey mountain style. And I just quickly downloaded like a whole bunch of art that I thought matched the aesthetic that I'm going to go for. So I actually think we're going to start upstairs today. I've been really loving starting off doing my bedrooms and kind of going from there. I've been adding in some of these cottage living lightings to warm up the place a little bit. And I'm going to try and stick to those packs that I said earlier, like seasons, werewolves, those kind of items are going to be coming in here. So I'm going to use that bed there from seasons. I want to bring in, let's bring in a few different items from werewolves. I find building with this stuff in regular homes, like not just werewolves homes is really cute. I love the style of some of these items. So we're going to be playing around with quite a bit of it. I'm going to put that on top of that there. We can fill that up with cute clutter. Let's grab a couch. I think I'm going to use this one here from base game. We'll do a coffee table there in the middle. This is a pretty big bedroom. So I'm trying to like take up space, make little rooms within the room. Let's get some basic end tables near the bed. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of like lamps in here, candles. I'm going to have to download some kind of picture to go above my bed, but I think I want to use the mirror from Outdoor Retreat, like that stand up one there in the corner. We'll get some plants going in here. And in terms of like the challenge, this room honestly is pretty normal. We're not struggling too much. I think the downstairs might end up a little bit more difficult. I think that's maybe why it was 
gonna be a good idea to start up here, get the style and the aesthetic going and then tackle like the harder part. So I'm gonna get another dresser in here. I think those like big trunks from werewolves function properly, but I'm gonna get another one just in case we can't actually open that one with the shelf on top. I feel like the family that lives here is either gonna be like an older family with like kids that have moved out or a younger family who hasn't had kids yet. I don't really think I'm gonna have kids in this house. We could do a guest bedroom with like room to grow in this house, but no kids yet. So this is what the bedroom has turned out like. I've got some pictures here from that gallery page, Catatron 16. I love how these ones turned out above the bed. I think that looks really pretty. Over to this side, we've got our dresser. I have some chairs, a laundry hamper, and a fireplace to make sure that we stay nice and cozy in this little room. Let's go and do the other bedroom across the hall. And this one over here, I think is gonna be just like a single bedroom. This could be a guest bedroom or something. So let's start off getting a bed there. I'm gonna get maybe an end table here from Seasons. This light here could match the vibe. Nice cozy rug. Ooh, this looks so comfy and cozy. I love this room. I love that brick. I'm gonna try and do, this is gonna be a little bit of a big dresser, but if I squeeze that against the wall there, we can use that one from Get Together. And then maybe we can go in with like a plant in this corner like that. I'm gonna have to find something to put above the bed, just like a little piece of art or something. Some laundry hampers in our bedroom. And then I think on the other side, I wanna maybe do like a skill item over here. I'm actually thinking like an easel in this corner could be really nice, like looking out into the woods. Ooh, actually with that in mind, we could find some of these eco lifestyle canvases and that actually kind of looks like what that looks like across. So maybe this person spends their time like painting the landscape and stuff. I think that could be kind of fun. It could even be like an elder family with like an adult kid that like lives with them. That's kind of the storyline that I'm thinking with this house. So this is the next bedroom, the adult bedroom, possibly a guest bedroom. We've got our easel over to the side, our paintings of our landscape in our neighborhood. On this side, I added these blinds, which I know I've been covering up windows a lot lately. Like maybe they look a little bit better without it. I personally feel like the curtains add a little bit more of a cozy vibe, but I guess in this scenario, we don't really have too much going on like around us, so I can leave it open. But this is the clutter I added in here. I love that picture, which I downloaded again from the same artist. And I think it's looking really cute so far. I'm gonna go out into this area. I've started adding just a few things that I found, but they didn't really fit the bedroom vibe. So I put them out into this hallway. I think right here could be a perfect spot for a fireplace. So let's get a big one, maybe right here. I'm thinking like the cottage living one could be really cute or even possibly this one from Cats and Dogs. We get a nice comfy couch across from that, keeping it pretty neutral. And then I wanna see if there's any more werewolves items because I've been finding some really cute things to add from that pack. Let's do maybe this mirror here from werewolves. And I wanna get more of like a woodsy feel in here. So I think I might actually add outdoor retreat to my filter. And I even wanna use like this furniture on the inside. It's gonna be like cozy forest chic. <laughs> That's the style we're going for here. So a chair there, I could do a chair here as well. This little rug could be a cute addition here. I'm gonna put that right at the exit. We could add this outdoor retreat mirror to the side. Maybe this could be a cute little stool right there. And there's even like the exposed stone items, which in normal circumstances, I would keep those for like being used outside. But I actually think I could get away with using that there at least as like a table. And then we cozy it up by adding like pillows on top. Like I'm gonna go and get the pillows from the little campers kit. And these are gonna be a perfect addition there because they have the little like tree designs on there. They're clearly meant for like a camping scenario or environment. And then we sort of have that like awkward brick wall right in the middle, but I don't hate it. I'm thinking I could maybe add on some like shelving right here and get away with that. Just put some clutter, some kind of like pictures on the wall, like of the family or something. Like a notebook, I can even just raise this stuff up, just like little clutter. And then we're making use of the space. It's not just like there for no reason, you know? But I actually didn't think it looked half bad just by itself. There, just something simple, I think. Still getting that cluttered vibe, coziness. I quite like it. This is what the rest of the hallway is looking like over to this side. I added our seating area in here. I've got some decor from Outdoor Retreat and Eco Lifestyle. I really love this little nook over here with the brick. I feel like that matches exactly what I was going for. Let's move on. I've been also adding some like artwork that I liked into this room here. This is gonna be, I think, an office. Again, if you did download this and wanted to add like family gameplay, there are extra bedrooms that you could easily add into like a kid's room instead. But for this one here, I'm gonna get a rustic yet comfy looking chair, maybe with like the flowers on the back there. Let's see if I can pull it together once we've got more stuff in here. So I'm gonna add a computer, maybe like an older looking one, matching candle there. I could add a plant on the desk. So our office ended up pretty cute in here. I added 
inside some more outdoor retreat decor. We've got werewolves bookshelf, some more art that I've downloaded. And then on this side, I added a grandfather clock. I thought that brought together like the rustic feel with that picture there. All I really have to do on this floor is the bathroom, which I know the Sim 4 Seasons has some really great items that are gonna match our vibe. So we're gonna go in with this bathtub here. Maybe I'll put that on that side. I might go full seasons with the bathroom essentials. So we've got our season sink, toilet, the whole set. And I think I'm probably gonna go in with the same mirror as well. And then we'll bring in the green, just like we've got in the rest of the house. We'll do like green towels and accents. I think I might do a whole brick bathroom in here. <laughs> like there's no window in this bathroom, which is probably not right. But the way that it worked out with this challenge, I'm just gonna roll with it and brick it all in. Cause why not? I feel like these like yaks or whatever. <laughs> They make good bathroom pictures. So let's do a double yak moment right here and right here. And I think we're gonna call it on our bathroom there. All right, so that's it for our top floor. Now we're gonna be able to go downstairs and figure out the rest of this. I've kind of started over here with a really cute reading room. I added my bookshelves, which I think I actually want to go all the way up the wall. So big reading room in here. We've got that day bed from Dream Home Decorator looking real cozy over here with a pillow from the little camper's kit. I also love these here. I've got an entryway kind of going and I found those off that same gallery page. I think we're gonna do a smaller seating area over to this side. The downstairs is a little bit more closed concept than I think I would like, but we're gonna try and work with it. We can get our TV. It's just this wall that's gonna be a pain. So let me see if I can get a couch kind of like leaned up there. Actually, it's not that bad. I could even extend the wall and do another one so that it matches the whole side of the couch. And then the couch can just go in front like that and that actually might work out. Or we switch it up completely and do a fireplace right there like stick that one on there put a couch on this side and then mount the tv on top of here instead that makes a little more sense i think i want a nice big couch like something like this i wish the cats and dogs one had a little bit of better swatches with that we could use this couch here nice little base game one and then we can add in the color to brighten it up a little i downloaded this art let's see if it's gonna fit there oh that's perfect and i actually like the color that i brought in here too like that looks kind of cute like that again way squishier than i'd like but i'm gonna add in a little rug, pull it all together in there. That actually turned out really nice. I think that picture that we downloaded totally made it. I have so many like random walls and pictures just like downloaded on the side there, but this is what our living room turned out like. I get a little bit squishier than I would have preferred, but I think we can get away with this one. We're gonna do a dining room, I think over here and I can get a really big, nice dining table. I know there's one, I think it's from like Chungle Adventure. No, this one, cats and dogs coming through. I wanna use this one here, it's huge. We can do a full dining room with like chairs all the way around this thing. I'm actually gonna use the cats and dogs chairs too. I need a big rug to fit that entire thing. Cute. And I feel like if I wanted to, I could put a fireplace in here. I do have like three chimneys on the outside of this. So like, it wouldn't be that weird if we did it. Like I can move this over make sure my rug isn't right underneath the fireplace like this one. We'll replace the lighting so it's a little bit more cozy. Let's actually get that cats and dogs one. This is perfect for this room. I was saying earlier that this was giving like a summertime vibe, but I feel like this might be more on like the fall friendly kind of feel. Like, I don't know with the warmth of it and everything is giving like end of summertime, you know? Seasons has, I think one of those, like these that go in the dining room. I'm gonna put that behind there. It's nice to have this big space for a dining room. Normally I'm like squishing them in somewhere, but to have this whole big room is actually quite nice. I'm gonna grab some pictures from my wall collection over here. I wanna use that little decor item, this here from Werewolves. I'm gonna put that near the fire and I know that with base game I think last like winter we got one of those fire pit pokey things this tools of fire I'm gonna put that right in there that's perfect that's what our dining room is looking like this is so cozy in here it's so cute the final area we have to do is this huge kitchen I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for this big bathroom and really just pull together the hallway but we don't have much to go let's tackle this kitchen here so looking around I'm trying to find like a flat service for where I can put all my counters. Let's do right here. We can do the fridge and like the main cooking area. And I think I'm going to go in with like some cottage living, probably cottage living counters too. Like we can go in maybe with this white here. I'm going to have to try and bring it around this corner here. I don't know if that's going to look weird, but we're going to try and just like bring it all the way this way. Or maybe the location would be a little bit better over here. Yeah, let's do this instead. We'll do all counters that way, counters here. And then I want to like incorporate that 
but somehow I just don't know how to do it. We could do the same thing and like lean into it like we've been doing with the other walls. This was one of the dots that I can't delete. So maybe if I extend it a little bit like this and add some sort of design feature, I could maybe get away with doing like a breakfast table right there. Just like a small table. I'll get some chairs to match. And like, what if I put a window on there or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just like a little scene. It looks cool. There's not really a reason behind it, but it's there, you know? And I'm changing my mind again. I think I'm going to go with the perfect patio, like stone counters like these. Yeah. So now we have our layout. Now we're just going to go in and start adding our essentials. I need my oven to be probably like here. Ooh, I love this light here from Cottage Living. I think I'm going to add that in. Maybe I could do a coffee corner over here and add that on there and do like a chalkboard. We could even have a microwave over in this corner. And then our sink can maybe just go right here. Of course, we'll add a s'more station right by the door. We've got our fire pit like literally right outside. So this is what the remainder of the house ended up looking like. We've got our kitchen over to this side. I have all of my essentials over here. That cute little area here, which I thought looks adorable. Our breakfast nook with the window there. We have our coffee corner with our microwave over to this side. I added a bar in this area because I needed something to just like fill the space. I also did a bathroom in here with a built-in laundry area because I realized I didn't have a laundry room, but I had a lot of hampers in the bedroom. So this is what our bathroom ended up looking like. It's really big and like, I don't know how I feel about it, but this is what we've got. I need to delete all of the <laughs> random art that I have going around my house. And that is how our Connect the Dots challenge ended up in The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this build challenge, taking our Connect the Dots puzzle and turning it into a cute Sims 4 home. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.